What is up guys? Today I'm back with some more Terraria, and as you can see my inventory looks pretty much entirely different, and that's because I forgot about one thing, and I did it because I completely forgot it was a thing, and it just randomly happened. And after doing said thing, which I'm going to do in this video, I tried the Old Ones Army uh, Tier 3 again, and I did manage to beat it. So yeah, I'm going to show you what I did at first to get some really good items, such as this mount. And this is my armor so far. So yeah, it's the Tiki armor to increase my number of summons. Because I think I'm going to go summon a route with this, uh, with this run. This increases number of minions, number of minions, number of minions. And then minion damage, uh, or minion speed and knockback. So yeah, this is kind of my loadout till, uh, like, until right before the end. Which would be the Moon Lord, which is the final boss. Oh, that's what we need right there, that robot thing. We need to catch up to it. We need to let it detect us. So it's red, so it now detects us. So now we now need to go back home, heal up, and we can now start using my summons. So yeah, these summons also came from uh, this event, the Martian Invasion. And it's just like little UFOs that will attack. And it's actually pretty powerful. And honestly, when I was doing research on the Old Ones Army, uh, I didn't know this, but apparently Summoner's like the best route to go for the Old Ones Army. Which I didn't know at first, but I do now. So yeah. So yeah, in this video I'm going to be doing this, the Martian Invasion. And then if I have enough time, I'll try the Old Ones Army again. And just show you guys how I beat it. But yeah, this is how I got these really OP items. Like my Summon Staff, which is the little UFOs this mount, this gun called the Xeno uh, Popper, the Influx Waver, I got this really cool drill, and I got this thing, the charge cannon from it. So yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty good stuff from this event. Uh, also, this came from Betsy, so yeah, I did manage to beat uh, Tier 3. Uh, this weapon I'll go over in another video, this rocket launcher. The heat-seeking uh, rocket launcher, I'll go over that in a different video. This took so much grinding for. So basically what I had to do is that I had to create a new world that had the crimson biome because this one has corruption. Beat Plantera. Then just for extra, I beat Golem. Then I had to fight enough enemies in the Crimson Bomb and drop a Crimson Key. Then I had to go into the dungeon, defeat Skeletron. Sp I spent like half an hour, probably more, just looking for the Crimson Chest to open up, just to finally get this weapon. And the reason why I wanted this weapon is because since I'm a summoner, I don't have a whole lot of defense, which means I'm going to lose health pretty fast, and that weapon actually heals me whenever I hit someone. So yeah, it's going to be very helpful. And yeah, this is the boss of the Martian Invasion. And I took him out very fast. And that's how you get pretty much all the items I have in my inventory. Except for the charge cannon and the drill. Well, out of the items I told you you can get from this uh, event. So yeah, look, see, there's the Xeno Popper. Alright, so yeah, we're already like halfway done with this thing. So I think I will be able to do Old Wind Army again. And show you guys just how I beat it. Oh, that green dinosaur thing down there. Uh, if I can, uh, if I remember to, I'll put a picture of what they look like, like closer up on screen right now. But if you kill those guys, there's a very rare chance. Oh, there's the influx waiver. Uh, but there's a very rare chance that when we put it on, uh, they get a brain scrambler, and it's for this pet. And it's really cool because when enemies are nearby, it'll actually shoot lasers at the enemies. So, as you just saw, just shot a laser. I mean, it was probably kind of hard to see. But yeah, it's able to shoot lasers, and it's pretty cool. And it's actually very helpful during the Old Ones Army, but it's not required. All I really needed was the summon, uh, which is the Xeno Staff, uh, the UFO, or just any type of wings. So, you don't really need the UFO. But the summoning staff and the Xeno Popper is all that I used with Chlorophyte bullets. So, I didn't really have to worry about aiming. Okay, here, let me just take care of this UFO real quick. Boom, he's out of here. Oh, there's the trophy six, so I can put the trophy up. Let me just claim that real quick. No, not the Xeno staff. There we go. 
So once we beat the Martian invasion, I can put that up in the trophy room. So yeah, honestly, the Xeno stuff is actually very good. Way better than I thought it would be. Like, it was an absolute game changer compared to some of my other, uh, compared to my Seguin staff. Like, honestly, there's just no comparison. And I feel like it's because the Seguin bats have to fly to the enemies that they want to attack. While with the Xeno staff, the little UFOs can just teleport to whoever they want to attack. And they don't really have to worry about, like, moving to the actual enemy. They can just teleport right over to them. All right, there we go. Martian invasion is over. So let's go put up this trophy. That's not the trophy. There it is. Let's see. Let's go put it up in the trophy room right here. Oh, and I did put up... I think I already did that in the video. Put up the trophy for the Old Ones Army uh, Tier 2. So yeah, there we go. All right, now time for the next Old Ones Army. Oh, let's see. I need the Ballista Staff. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so let's just do it. I should have enough time for sure. It's only been like, what, five, six minutes? Something like that. At least for me, it'll probably be shorter in the video, possibly. I'm not too sure. Depends on how much editing I want to do, which is a little to none. All right, perfect. And I don't have any Etheria crystals on me. All right, let's just head back home and grab some and buy some from uh, the brew, the bar, man. All right, let's see. Oh, where is he at? Okay, up ahead, you got it. Shop. Sell some of this stuff. All right, now we can buy some of these. I accidentally bought 26. I did not need that much, but you know what? Who cares? And also, there's just one more item that I need from Betsy that I'm going to grind off camera if I don't get it from this Old Ones Army. But it's basically a sword. And I'm not sure if it's stronger than the Influx Waiver, but either way, I want it. Because it looks pretty cool from what I've seen. Okay, so boom. I'm struggling. Ballista staff. And there we go. That's all we're going to do. Just one ballista staff. And we're just going to shoot rockets this way. To target the enemies. There we go. Actually, I'll use my Xeno Popper. Why not? Let them go for the enemies with my Chlorophyte Bullets, which automatically track enemies. No, let's spice it up. Influx, wa Influx Waver. Boom. Wave 1 already over. Oh, that's right. I need to put on the mount. The brain scrambler. Because, yeah, this mount is actually crazy fast and it shoots a lasers, which deals damage to enemies. So I can see why it's very useful for this event. I'm going to use this whip a little bit, which I'll explain how to get in a future video. Because it does crazy damage. It does 189 when it's godly, which is the best uh, forge whatever thing for uh, melee weapons. See how you can see that shooting like red lasers. And it does decent amount of damage. And any bit of damage helps with these events. Especially when winning or losing is, is kind of out of your control. Since you have to protect this crystal. And if it breaks, then you lose the event and you have to start all over again.
more ballistas. And I think we're gonna get onto the first boss, which is the Dark Mage. Okay. Alright. Boom. Shoot a little bit over here. Oh, yeah, also, for some reason, this mount got uh, mad hops. Look at this. Look at those hops. Use this. Absolutely demolish the enemies. Bam. Easy. Oh, I know. Now we're on to the first boss. I just realized that. My rocket launcher over here a little bit. Kill the dark mage. Easy. Oh, another dark mage. Let's just get him out of here. He's over here. Let's just get him out of here real quick. Boom, easy. And we're already gonna move on to wave five. So yeah, if you're ha if you played Terraria as well and you're having str uh a tough time beating Betsy, just try, uh, try doing the Martian Invasion first. You really only need, like, two or three items, and then e it's pretty easy to win at that point. Just make sure you also have Chlorophyte Bullets, because with Betsy, it likes to move around a lot, and with Chlorophyte Bullets, you don't really need to aim. So, yeah, that's a tip right there. Okay, because of the ogre, I walked on the ground for a little bit. Alright, there we go. So that's why I was jumping. Because the ogre slowed me down a little bit. Boom, easy. Alright, we're going to move on to wave 6 now. So, one right before Betsy. Mm 
Okay. Dog water. Absolute dog water. Like easy claps. Easy. Alright, and this is where I'm gonna start using the Xeno Popper. Cause Betsy's about to jump in. And I think I'm also gonna switch to the little UFO so I can fly around her. Cause she's gonna be absolutely crazy. Speaking of which, there she is. Oh, there she is. Oh geez. Oh geez, heal up. Okay, she's already at half health, which is good. Okay, go for Betsy, everyone. I should probably use my RPG a little bit since it's heat-seeking or whatever. Homing, there we go. Oh, good, my crystal isn't even close to dying either. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm at 30 health. Let's go, we beat her. Oh, but we did not get the sword. We got Betsy's Wrath, which I already have. It's this thing. All right, well, I'm going to end the video here. If you want to see some more uh, Terraria, then make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Also, make sure to check out my VR channel and my Discord server. There's a link to both of those in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.